Well, it's about 8 a.m. <coughs> They're laying them down. It's got to be at least a half a mile wide on the left. <sighs> Must be normal, huh? It's got to be. Well, it's been about an hour. 11.30 now instead of 10.30. Inch and a half. He's even burying it. What a good cat. Look at the snow on him. Yeah, my grandpa made that. Oh, gosh, in the 40s, I guess. I gotta clean this lens. All right, it's Monday, it's March 24th, it's almost five. It's another day with no chemtrails and this is what it looks like when they don't try to kill us. Well, it's almost eight in the morning on Tuesday. I think, I think it's the fifth. And uh, I mean, yesterday was the fourth. So I got a feeling we're going to see a lot of this today. Hey, your pee pee's showing. center of California. You've got to change your evil ways, baby, before I stop loving. It's Kirchhoff. Like, all of this, it's 420 has been laid down on April 6th. In the last couple of hours, I was back at Mammoth Pool, which is about 50 miles of driving back, and I could I neglected uh, video. I got a shot by accident, I'll put it on. So I've been streaking from the west out here towards the east, where we are on the western Sierras, and laid down these mostly north to south patterns. Some of them are east and west. This is the heaviest one I've seen since sometime last year, I'd say in April. And overall, for this year, it's much lighter than last year. So, see what happens. So these are gone from 5,000 feet, I could see, you know, you can see out to the horizon easily, uh, uh, theoretically, at, at Santa Cruz. So, it was 100 miles wide. There's just one plane after another. I'm talking like five in a couple of minutes. Should be able to see that. I don't know why they're hard to see, but some of them are. It's only been another minute or so. Those are the two that were just laid down. I'm home now. It's about 10 minutes later. And it's going southerly. It's about 525. So there's been a couple more planes by. Being westerly. That's looking north. All of this was done by airplanes. And I hope you can see this ribbing in here, banding, if you will. It's really dramatic up the road. Well, hopefully, you can see that what appears to be a normal contrail out there, and all this interesting ribbing. So it's Tuesday morning. 
morning about 10 a.m. on the 7th of April. Sorry about the dirt on the lens. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Well, I don't know. They look cool. I can look at my cloud book books. You tell me. So that was looking northwesterly and now we're looking southwesterly. So the sun's just off to my right. We're looking easterly. Nothing. Then we start getting this pattern. Let's see. And then we can rotate around to the south here. And out this way, where the sun's so bad, it's just a mush of haze. Can you see a distinct line associated with each one of those thick bands? It's hard to describe, but there's a distinct singular line in connection with these bands. And I'm recording this every couple of minutes right now. Whatever it is, it looks interesting. See if those distinct bands show up on this close-up. It's just the dirt on my lens gets worse the closer I get. This is right over my head, obviously. Moving in a westerly direction. So it's still not 1030. How is west now looking east? So this stuff is moving easterly as a, I guess we'd call it as a mass. We rotate over towards the west here. This is looking the easterly where we had nothing, you know, 10 minutes ago. See, at 10, 20, there wasn't anything there. See. And there's your patch of blue is way out there. Now that's got to be about four miles out for that patch of blue. Hopefully you can see that streaking. I don't see the those single tight bands I was trying to describe. That streaking in there. That shows up. This is looking southerly and the sun's directly above me. So I'll show you like ow. Interesting. Yeah, I play this back to see how accurate the uh, reproduction is, and this is pretty much what I'm seeing. It's interesting. Hopefully that'll come up. All right, so now it's 1040. That's sort of west. Sort of, sort of smearing together now. Well, now it's Tuesday about 6 p.m. And uh, so there was a gap between those interesting clouds and then there was a band of sky and then there were uh, these clouds coming in, which is around 2 p.m. I'd say, 1 p.m. They were over Fresno. So as it all connected, uh, it's all synchronistic.